Hey there guys, we are back with some more Rogue Tower and I just want to say thank you so much for the support of my Rogue Tower videos recently, especially that one um, with entitled where there's a thin line between I think Genius and Insanity or something like that. I can't believe that video popped off and I just want to say thank you so much guys for actually with all the support and I am glad that I am entertaining you guys as well. So today i have a theme so first of all i have a theme today you might be wondering um cheesecake cactus what is the theme or like what is the theme that you're talking about well uh, first of all i will not get any other towers aside from the shredders maybe and probably let me see here probably get some obelisk here as well let's just see but for the most part, I'm just going to go with um, the shredders here and probably all the rest of the towers. But primarily, I will use the shredders and then maybe the secondary would be the obelisk. And then all the other towers would just be there for, uh, would there for support. Um, anyway, grab your drinks, grab your snacks. Let's hopefully enjoy this video and hopefully my plan will work. And I need a specific type of setup here. So once the... Uh, once the game is run, I will see if the map is actually generating to its proper layout. Because the layout is really important. You will see um, what I mean of this. Anyway, I need to um, restart this map until I get the desired direction here. Hold on. Okay, perfection. So um, as I'm sipping my coffee here, hope you guys have your drinks as well and snacks. And hope you guys are having an amazing day today because you guys actually made my day already. But yeah, anyway, this setup would be the usual and probably what's the closest thing we have? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, I'm just going to copy this. You might be seeing a theme here. But anyway, I will just let this game run and I'm just going to do my usual um, Rogue Tower stuff where I just talk and let's see how... Um, everything goes how are you how are your guys uh, how are your guys days how are your day how's your day hope you hopefully you have a great day today if not i hope that i would um be able to entertain you for today and in this video similarly to how i did with the previous videos so for now let's get the shredders we will need that as early as possible because that is probably our main damage let's get frugal since we have um since we have buffs anyway and let's make sure to get some bleed get some shredder damage while we are at it just get more armor and all these things so in the early parts we will just be focusing on the usual and i'm seeing you might be thinking oh it's a zigzag but wait a minute that's not the end of the line just yet um we are having plans here and hopefully that plan will work and hopefully I would survive to showcase to you the entire map as well. You might be having problems with armor in the early parts of the game. And most, pro most of you probably know the theme but right now based on the thumbnail that I will choose in the future thanks to my feature self. Actually spoiling what is coming but at least you have an idea on like what, uh, what to expect in this game anyway. As compared to having no no impact whatsoever and i'm just really glad like in the last videos like i'm just doing all indie games i really love indie games then rogue tower is like the staple aside from it's being my comfort game i i know all of you guys have your own comfort games and all like the game you play to turn off your brain just enjoy um for me it's like this is this game as well as Team Fight tactics so those are the games that i do to quote unquote relax or just not really think about things that much and that's why I keep playing Rogue Tower and I think this is the easiest for me to record anyway because I already know most of the game so the brain power allocated to actually play the game is not that much as compared to like other games that I play like the other indie games that I play anyway so you must I don't know that's just for me i know i love to hear your thoughts about what games you consider your comfort games like maybe pvz blue star defense maybe if you're crazy go for really rts games like starcraft or even age of empires 
all those things. But you do you if you enjoy the comfort of those games. I am not there to stop you. Just be sure to let other people enjoy the games of their own as well. Also, I will do this. Change the color. Mm -hmm. So, so far the map is like, you know, the zigzag. Here we had a straight line before like zip. You might be thinking, oh, it's a, it's a zigzag now. The twist. What a twist of the zigzag. But no, just wait, just wait. Um, why do I keep on saying just wait? You already know what's happening. Maybe it's just past me or like now, like the present me, making all it suspenseful and all the likes of that. Um, so I really didn't expect like my that video of Rogue Tower surpassed my top Rogue Tower video, which is, if I'm not mistaken, the vampire one. The one that started this all, the one that started to pop off in my... Monster steal plus one damage in my channel, anyway. So let's just focus on bleed. And this is much better than the line as compared to bleed because at least we have some semblance of towers overlapping certain areas. Anyway, let's increase the damage. Frostbolt is really perfect for us. Let's also upgrade our Ballistas here because that is our single target damage for this run, most probably. Aside from the Obelisk, if we have enough enough money for an Obelisk, maybe that could work as well. Dun -dun. Is there a plus three that I could utilize in this part so that I could target the slower ones? I mean, just even a plus two would be enough. Nothing is marked, so it's literally just attacking the fastest one. Frostbolt is perfect. Um, we could go for mine here. You know what? Let's go for a mine. That could be useful in the future anyway. Well, perfect plus three as well. Only plus twos for the rest of them, so I'm not really that sh good if... I'm not really that sure on what is... Or like what to do here. Okay, oh, give me next. Shredder's gain a crit chance. That is useful. Gold rush. Also pretty useful. We're almost down to the boss lane here. Wait, hold on. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Shredding. That could be useful. Everything bleeds is also useful. Anyway, this is the first boss. Hopefully, we have enough damage to deal with the first boss. And we have places for our shredders here. Right, you know, let's remove you. Place a shredder there instead. Change you into some ballista towers. I'm just gonna place some ballista towers at key points, not only for. Um, damage, but mainly for the slow. That the, our ballistas would be our main sources of slow in this round, so we must spread them out as far as we can to slow things down for our other towers to deal with them. Okay, let's finally build a haunted house. Um, let's increase their shields because I don't want any of you to guys to go any faster this round. Um, sure, let's have a golden forest. All ties to gain damage to shields. And oh, this is a perfect spot for a haunted house. And I keep on saying this, keep on repeating this, but haunted house can sometimes be a hit or miss. However, times like these, wherein haunted houses are really, really good, uh, is the moments where they shine. They really shine. Anyway, let's grab some HP. Let's also grab, I mean, by HP, I mean mines to increase our HP. Sell you, place you there. We're not draining any mana yet. So that is pretty much fine. Any more mines that I could exploit? Okay, I think I think those are all the mines that we could exploit. While the rest of our army is busy. Mm, everything bleeds. Sure, seance is important. And, and let's put another bleeder here. I mean, uh, and by bleeder, I mean another shredder. 
the Shredder Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reference. Mm-hmm. Then seance. Let's just increase our income while it is still really early. And then as much as I want to get the obelisk now, I would want to save up just a little bit. Or I want to finish all the other upgrades first before I do anything rash. And so far so good. We're slowing things down. Not by a lot, but at least we're slowing most of the towers down. Mm -hmm. Trail of blood. More bleed. Perseverance. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. It's another good place for a ballista. Probably around here-ish. Like one here and one here. That would be a good choice for a ballista. So at least these guys would be slowed down. We're having problems with shields. Just a little bit. We don't have any shield focused um, damage. So that is one problem. But I think we, we are still fine. We're still pretty much fine. Oh, wow, look at the perfect places for some haunted houses. Get ready for some spooks. Is this Spooktober? I don't think so. But yeah, this layout is so good for our... Uh, for our seances. For our haunted houses. And let's just keep on increasing the HP of our tower in order to get more out of these like m imagine most of these haunted houses gain double the m gain double some even triple the amount of income just due to the fact like for example this one i believe it's a tripler like 84 gold the value of this haunted house has already been paid for in sangrenate now we need that and we could probably get the mana siphon now. So in the future, we could easily get some form of... Uh, for an obelisk, at least. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, there's a good spot, probably. And let's just place some um, ballistas here to slow things down. perfection and while that is happening let's grab the mana back so i think we are ready now for some obelisks right after we get the freezing bolts man i'm just delaying the obelisk so much i <laughs> and that's not a haunted house we want a haunted house guys and let's save that one spot for some obelisk in the future If we ever had one. So, per first of all, broadhead bolts. We need those. Now we get the obelisk. And while the obelisk is here, let's keep it red as well. Play some mana siphons. That obelisk will drain the heck out of our mana. So let's just be ready. And let's pause the game because I want to see the effects while we get our mana here. How are you? Oh, it's currently gathering. No, you're not gathering mana. Okay, I think that is fine. Um, let us play some haunted houses. And let's place a shredder in a plus three area. Like so. So let's see how we fire up against the boss. Doesn't look good. We are having trouble with this boss. By a lot though. Like yeah, we're having a lot of problems with shields. So I think we need to figure out something. Like this could be our downfall in the future. Never mind. Actually pretty good. 
Disintegration is nice, but I would want to have Ballista's more crit chance as well as Ensanguine too. Because that is like our main form of damage at the moment. And so far, we are actually like saving mana just a, by a little bit here. Like we're still not losing as much mana I, as I expected us to lose. And people are reaching over here, which is concerning. But if we have like a single, um, single obus there, I think that's fine. Five poison bolts, enchanted bolts. Let's just upgrade the HP first before anything else. And most of all, mana banks to keep our economy flowing. Man, we're using mana fast. So our, my goal is to just let the these obelisk towers do their thing. Like, you know, damaging as, as much damage to a single unit um let's increase let's start upgrading our obelisk here and get as well as savings account that could help us in the future oh look at this the red the power of red. Also, let's be some mana mana bolts. I mean mana sustain here. We don't have any mana left. We need that upgrade that we um, get percentage mana back. Okay, let's not forget to place ballistas. Like sorcery. We need sorcery. We need additional sorcery. And now I think that should be enough to keep us to keep our mana sati satiated let's also don't not forget the ballistas here and our death tax is steadily increasing it's even more than our usual upgrade now let's get some mana i mean let's get some poison damage so at least to prevent our enemies from regenerating their poison shields honestly that was really good Okay, let's grab sorcery and then let us, you know, get more dash against shields. And sure, might as well get grab frugal while we're at it. And I want to sell one of these towers. Like maybe you. Just to replace you with a death ray. Dun 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 dun. So far, most of these towers are doing good. I will upgrade like a single tower here to deal with everything else. And oh, obviously, gain amount, gain range. That is crazy powerful. How do we have more of these here? Like, I'm really confused. Oh, mini boss. mini boss so you mean mini loss because you know you lost uh, i'm not proud of that joke either dun, 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 dun. i'm i'm also wondering like while i'm playing this like what i'm really curious what people stay to watch these videos for sometimes you know i wonder like i know like when you hear yourself whenever you hear yourself it feels awkward you know because you're not used to hearing your own voice or like you're you're used to hearing your own voice but it is from the inside like if you get what i mean like most of the voice you're hearing is actually like lower than your usual and then the one that you usually hear just because most of the time you are like it's from the inside so you know like the base it's kind of like higher or deeper than it's you than you usually think so that is one of the reasons why um, you, it feels awkward to hear a voice from like a speaker because that is how people usually hear it for other people that is normal but for you it feels weird because you're not used to seeing that it's kind of like how 
Wait, hold on. Let me just... I'm, I'm starting to ramble here, but I don't care. <laughs> I hope you guys... It's f Like, for me, it's just fun to ramble random things here and there. But yeah, anyway. Um, like, for example, it's kind of similar to how sometimes um, you don't feel right looking at yourself in certain pictures. It feel like it feels kind of wrong for you to look at yourself in like certain pictures. That is because you are used to seeing yourself in a mirror, and mirror is obviously mirrored. And when you look at the picture, it is what people see, which is not the mirrored version of yourself. So it's kind of weird for you to look at yourself in a picture because you're not the you're not used to seeing yourself in a picture. So yeah, that is basically my shower thoughts <laughs> or can I consider the shower thought I'm not really sure okay, um, place the ballistas here so that one place a uh, shredder here yeah we're actually doing pretty well all things considered And with the increase in range, this singular tower here would easily shred most of our enemies. Death Ray? Sure, why not? Like, give us some crit. And let me just take a sip here. We're almost to the final boss. Oh wait, this is like the third boss. I didn't even notice. Um, let's go for dash to shields. I didn't even notice it's the boss already. Anyway, destroy this. Destroy this oogie. <laughs> destroy this oogie. Look at that. Could you? Destroy yourself faster, please. But I don't have any obelisks over here. Um, this is awkward. I'm just gonna place you there, so at least we have like an obelisk there as well. And let's not forget to place some mana, because that is our bread and butter. Oh yes, your weakness. HP. Now you are dead. Easy enough. Bleed Ray, Disease Ray, all obelisk gain that much damage, savings account, and speed. Oh, that's a lot of mines. More HP and more money for our cause here. Let's also place a Shredder. Let's place some all of you. I think I want to upgrade this one. Like, I want to upgrade this character over here. Just to deal some increasingly insane amounts of damage as we go along. Let's see our income. Our income... I can't believe death tax is still running for like 35% of our income here. Banditry gold is 17 and house protection for 10%. That is absolutely insane. Yeah, and so yeah, it... You are probably seeing the theme right now. And then probably for the video, I'm just going to place more random towers over there. Thermal Destination, Immolation 1, do you. Let's place more Shredders here. More. An Obelisk there. Pam pam. Not I'm just gonna place there and there probably later and speed them up. Oh man. This these people are not losing. How are you guys so freaking powerful? Okay, nice one. Get absolutely destroyed by that. Let us also increase our mana. We have a lot of mana, so I think having mana bolts is like just the right amount of crazy. And let me please tell me I'm recording. Yes, I'm still recording.
imagine if it didn't work out like that that would have been embarrassing focus fire would be useful and yeah this is the last piece of our map and then i'd like to show you as a form of thanks to all of you guys for the 2000 plus subscribers and increasing hey look at this it's a heart and that's why i gone with the red theme here so this thing i can do to art also bleed power i'm also going to place like some towers here to make it more red than usual so yeah this is my surprise to you guys this is a f as far as i can zoom out so yeah, this is a heart like yay i could also flip this entire thing if i really want to but yeah that is basically the theme for this you've probably already seen it um in the thumbnail I don't care you guys you if you're still watching at this point thank you so much can't believe you know sometimes you just want like how are am I also I'm just going to upgrade you like how am I this how did I reach this amount of people watching like it's crazy when you think about it anyway people are going so fast I need to start upgrading my uh, shredder towers here to absolutely destroy enemies as they go along especially the bosses here but honestly i'm just glad that i have uh, finished this map or i mean this idea of a map anyway um uh, let's go for oh, find a longbow it's been a while since i got you um let's also do some mana banks here and there because we are losing crazy amounts of mana. I don't want to lose just because I am careless with our our mana consumption. Yeah, these people are going crazy. But yeah, I like how it's all red. Like if only I could have like an entire like laser area here like everything would be laser so all lasers would connect to like a heart shape but we don't have the luxury to actually do that but i don't care it's pretty much fun that's why one of the reasons why i in the later parts right now since i'm confident that everything is doing their part and we already finished the map i am more confident to get some speed so like more units would go through meaning more obelisk i could place hopefully could complete as much of the heart of the lines of the heart as much as possible like as you can see the red things over here trying their best and that's why i'm also getting the ballistas everywhere so at least oh my god we're still draining mana how much mana do we need? Okay, mana cycling, that should help us with our enemies. Let's also increase our mana bolts. And then, obelisk gain additional crit chance. Okay, let's place the last few obelis obelisks over here. And I think that should be fine. And we're almost to the boss. It's crazy how much things can actually change. Oh my god, look at the mana. We're still draining. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of mana being drained right now. So I'm just going to place even more mana banks here. Hopefully that should be enough. Good thing we have a lot of... Um, how do I say this? We have a lot of mana in stock. So at least we can handle like most of these dudes. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, what do we have here next? Mana cycling is um, really important. Increase the burn and reduce the perseverance. Give them more speed. Also, since we're here, let's complete all the mana siphons that we missed. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I am enjoying this a lot. You can go for a life steal, but yeah, give me the crit chance, dude. Also upgrade you, so at least 
you could destroy like a single target. I don't know which target you're going to destroy. But a target is a target. So it's kind of like a heart. Hopefully you guys could actually see the heart and it's not just me. Um, if you don't know, I actually used to do some pixel art here and there. But kind of stopped for a while. So yes. That is pretty much uh, my video here. <laughs> So yeah, let's just start the server as long as we can. And with the speed here, so, come on, just let me get the speed sorted. So, upgrading you. What's your level? You're level 42, that's insane. Kinda feels like a Christmas theme, no? I remember doing like a video wherein every tower was red or like different colors kind of funny to look at but all things there it's pretty much fine dun 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 pa 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 ta 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 um let's go for lifesteal maybe yeah sure why not that gives us more sustain with our mana Give it more speed. Oh yeah, it's Big Brain Oogie time! I'm just going to zoom out so that we could see. Like Big Brain Oogie, you can see Big Brain Oogie here. You could see the heart slowly engulf everything. Like, I don't care if we lose this, honestly. I'm just glad that I completed the map. And it was successful with the custom maps. I only did custom maps mod here. I didn't want to do RPM because that would break some of these towers and not being able to do the things that they want so yeah just speed them i know i could upgrade but never mind oh oh oh, oh. laser laser okay you are f solely focused on being nice to hp so there's no excuse for you to not defeat this oogie did i actually upgrade the right one yes i did look at that Absolutely gone. Now let's go for endless mode. It's been a while since I did endless mode. And oh my god, the heart is so much brighter. We gotta change the shadow and everything. And now that I keep on staring at it, now it looks like a freaking elephant here in the middle. Given with the light blue background or like the blue, grayish blue background. Similar to how elephants, like the color of the elephants in... I'm not really sure what's the real color of the elephants. But... Um, how do I say this? Um, based on movies or animated just that I've seen. Elephants usually have that kind of color. Dun 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 dun. La -ta -ta -ta. La -ta -ta -ta. Quadruple. I see. Uh, sorry, I was drinking some coffee here and I'm eating some dark chocolate because I'm spoiling myself. So, you guys should also spoil yourselves today. Like, no matter how little your achievement is or like just surviving the next day is worth celebrating. So, be sure to treat yourself, alright? Be easy on yourself. Just be chill, relax. And enjoy some tower defense, relaxing tower defense. Um, we could upgrade like you, maybe. I really want to upgrade the shredder first, so shredder, do your thing. Shred everybody. And let's see how we fare up against. Oh, quality over quality. Finally, now we can use that. Um, enchanted bolts. Give them even more move speed. Alright, let's see the power of the shredder. Let's see how much you actually shred. Actually, pretty good. What's your damage? 3,000. What's your damage? 600! <laughs> wow! Upgrading, upgrading these towers looks so much more... It makes them so much more valuable. Who knew, right? But I'm not too sure what's worth, like... Upgrading you to this level or just having five of these regular towers like there must be some dude who actually did a calculation somewhere, right? 
like the perfect calculation for Rogue Tower. Like I bet there's a single dude there somewhere out there. Not me, because I don't have the patience for that. But yeah, look at this on your crit chance. You are already at 50% crit four times three, so that is pretty much good. Pam pam. Is my dude still working? I changed the sensitivity of um, my avatar there, so if I could like speak, it's much more. Uh, it's closing much more than it used to be. So I'd like to hear your thoughts if it kind of works. Or is it more annoying because it keeps on moving? But yeah, I don't really mind. I'm just here for the flavor. Plus, it's kind of like a comment. Like, I'm commentating to you guys. Also, the big bad is here. And I know you guys want to look at it. And let's see here, honestly. Honestly, I thought that this guy would have zero shield left. Oh my gosh, look at the damage. Oh my gosh. Did you see the damage? Oh, you don't spawn anything. No wonder you're getting destroyed. So all of the target is focused on you, like the laser is focusing on you. That is insane. Like even like the basic towers are shredding you, dude. Just like that, Grubungi has perished. Um, Ballista's gain crit. Grab you and... Her protection. How much money are we getting? Oh, look at this. It's still 30%, which is absolutely nuts. So let's upgrade like, our forward towers here. 66. That's much more than the usual. What the hell? I'm loving this map already. <laughs> I'm loving. I can't believe I'm still here. Like, how many videos? Like, it's so insane. How many R's I have in Rogue Tower? How, like, I, you know what? While well, that's happening, let me check Steam here. Um, let's see if. Um, let's see if we could actually. I could actually see the number of R's I've been playing this game. Uh, hold the phone. Give them more speed. Um, where is Steam? Steam, open Rogue Tower. Ho I hope it doesn't actually leak my Steam. Right? Did I did I set up my OBS? Yeah, it's still playing. I've been playing this for 150 hours already. What in the world? <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. And it's still increasing because I'm playing right now. It's been a while since we had this amount of craziness. Like in a run. Without levels to RPM. Um sure I could with fire, make them suffer. Honestly. Sure, give them more protection. And let's see how fast we can actually handle this. Honestly, I want to upgrade you. I'm just going to upgrade you. You will be my poster Shredder Tower. Level 82, dealing crazy amounts of damage. From the back, uh, from the front to the back. Pam pam pam, ra ta ta ta, ra ta ta ta, road tower. Man, I love this classic tower defense. Man, they should really um, focus on tower defense again. Tower defense re was really like the goat, and like the early, like early 2009, 2010s, maybe around that time, where in flash game was the jam. I'm sure they gain more speed. I don't care if they gain more speed. Like, because of the simple mechanics, it was really easy to create a tower defense game in, like, the Flash game. 
without having like intense amounts of coding and plus it is I'm pretty much appealing visually appealing as well because you don't really need for the input of um, the player or the mouse cursor whenever you have a tower defense you just need the maximum input that you can have for your character or like for the player is just place towers or maybe upgrade the towers and let everything do their own thing and in the end that allows them that allows the game to actually be visually appealing with the limited amount of um how do i say this with the limited amount of hardware or like not really hardware more like is it the hardware or like maybe software maybe basically the limited capabilities of a flash game to make it appealing which is really insane like if you w look at old flash games you could see how crazy um, simple some of the flash games are and then like visually as well as mechanically wise but like you feel it is a flash game but when you look at some tower defense games it made in flash or like in the past days uh, also, you're going to die with this tower, right? 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 I swear, if you get through, okay, <laughs> save. Um, if you see some of the older games, it kind of feels like, you know, it shows its age. But some tower defense games really look good even in today's standards. Like, if, you see, if you've seen the Flash version of Kingdom Rush, if I'm, I'm not really sure if it was Flash or Unity, but basically those era of tower defense games. Um, it still holds up. Even the older tower defense games, like one of the first ones, Pazbear Zombies, for example, they are really, really good. And it still feels nice to play today, obviously, because you, know, you, only, need to, you only need to click um, some of the stuff while, you know, while we while the game does its thing so kind of like a simple and also i should really stop delaying this project that i've been holding basically a video essay of how tower defense games is a chance to revive the rts genre like maybe not really revive more like let new players join in the rts genre sure give me that give me this let's see how fast we can make these dudes go they're at 3.95 plus movement speed. Then and they're already zooming. With the fortifications and stuff. But yeah. Our poster tower here is still doing its work. Doing its work shredding the front all the way to the back as they spawn. So these hordes easy peasy. Your percentage, you have like a 50% to gain each man. That is crazy to be able to not get hit any crit. That is really unlucky for you, my guy. And also, if you're sure, I'm not, I'm really curious if I should like play more, if I should stick to playing indie games or maybe just play once in a while some really big games, like not really indie, like a big title. I'm not really sure, man. Or maybe I'm just gonna do what I think is best anyway. Um, sure, let's reduce the slow. Look at the fast dudes, man. They are actually zooming really fast. And look at the shredders. That once a fast dude actually goes through and the shredders all shoot at the same time. Prepare for some death decay. Look at this. Look at the shredders. If you can see the shredders just pass through everything, absolutely obliterating, obliterating the slower moving enemies. Like, look at this, look at that, look at that. Bam, look at all the shredders. Bam, and all the enemies at the back are absolutely gone. How did one person reach over there? What the heck? How? 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 <laughs> what? How in the world? Was it just due to sheer speed? Well, that's possible. Mm. 
making sure that even increase their perseverance even more. They're not getting slowed as much, so they have more speed. They have more speed. Power. Oh, wait, I just noticed. Did you see the arrows like curve? Like the arrows keep on curving following a zigzag pattern for the really speedy guys? I just noticed that. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at look at look at the arrows. They they're curling. They're, the enemies are too fast. The arrows need to home in on them. Homing arrows. The technology in this game is, is insane. It's so funny to look at though. I'm used to seeing arrows shot like in a straight line. It's kind of weird to see some arrows like absolutely curve. It's rather it's projected because of its sheer am amount of speed. Come on, dude, spawn faster. Okay, pause the game. Spawn just here. Spawn just here. Action and let's see how powerful this Ugi is. Yeah, look at the arrows, man. They, they they're doing a curve pattern. Okay, let's see how. Okay, let's make you deal damage to shields, please. Remove the shields. You remove the armor. Okay, this is a lost cause unless you freeze him. Yep. That's where this game ends. But yeah, anyway, again, thank you again so much for tuning into this channel and supporting me all throughout the um, times I've been uploading this. So again, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button, subscribe once more. I upload new videos every day. Be sure to check them out as well. Uh, I mostly play indie games, mostly Rogue Tower. And yeah, if you leave that comment, it helps the algorithm. I'll try my best to respond and hope to see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.